Wait, you say it again. Hi, kids. Hey, welcome to Children's Time. I'm Miss Brittany, and this is... Why? My big six-year-old. He said he would help me today with Children's Time. Today, our scripture and our Bible story and sermon are about generosity. So I had a question for Ward. Um, what is one way you could be generous? Um, giving sunscreen to be to people when it in, when it's summertime. What kind of people? Homeless people. I thought that was pretty generous too. You kids are so good at thinking of ways to be generous. You write cards when people are sick or have birthdays. You share and take turns. You care about the world and pick up trash and care about people like Ward just mentioned. Generosity makes me think of two Bible stories, Ward. Can I tell them? Okay, so the first one I think of is when Jesus goes into the temple, which is like the church of his day. And there are a lot of rich people lined up giving a lot of money to the church to help with good things. And then there is a poor widow a woman who is kind of a lonely and an outcast from society who has not very much money drops in two copper coins, which are worth just a few cents. And Jesus turns to the disciples and says, truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the offering plate, more into the treasury than any of the others, all the rich people. She gave, they gave out of their wealth but she gave out of her poverty and put everything she had into it. That's a story of generosity I think of from scripture. And then there's one more I want to tell you. I think a lot of kids know this one. There was a crowd gathered listening to Jesus of 5,000 men and probably even more with women and children. And it had become lunchtime and they nobody had food. They were so hungry. And G all the disciples are like, send them home before they ask us for food. And they all get hangry and hungry and mean. Do you get cranky when you're hungry? Mm-hmm. I do too. Um, and he says, Jesus says, no, don't send them away. Tell everyone to sit down. So they all sat in the field. And Jesus asks if anyone has anything to share. And one little boy, a kid, comes forward with his lunch five loaves and two fish and says, here, do you think five loaves of bread and two fish will feed 5,000 people? No, that seems kind of crazy. And the disciples are like, Jesus, what's going on? But a miracle happened. As they passed the bread and the fish, there was enough for everyone. In fact, by the time everyone had eaten some, there was even leftovers, like 12 baskets of leftovers. And some people wonder if it was a miracle. It was, definitely. But also some people wonder if as one person's generosity became contagious and more people started sharing what they had brought. And there was so much generosity and sharing that they had an abundance. Being a person of faith and a Christian is all about generosity. All about giving out of joy and abundance. And not just abundance, but giving everything you have like the widow. Just like Ward says, we can be generous in lots of different ways, like sharing sunscreen with um, folks who are experiencing homelessness in the summer. Um, there are lots of different ways. I want you to think of one way you can be extra generous this week um, and, and then come tell me about it. Sound good, Ward? Mm -hmm. All right, high five. Bye, kids.